In this video, I'd like to talk about the sweep options. There are three sweep options available. One sweep option is called Hertz Sweep. Another one is called Kilohertz Sweep. And the other one is Kilohertz Sweeps, plural. So the Hertz Sweep, as you expect, is a Hertz base sweep. So you're changing the frequency right down to the Hertz level. The kilohertz sweep and kilohertz sweeps, it's um, for sweeps where you're changing the uh, frequency, you're adjusting the frequency based on kilohertz. So basically, the difference between the hertz sweep and the kilohertz sweep is the resolution of your sweep. The only difference between these, the hertz and the kilohertz sweep is how you would use it. So the hertz sweep typically you use if you're measuring uh, uh, crystal motional parameters because that at that level you'd want to adjust it right down to the Hertz or you maybe you've got a special filter a special device where you want to get much finer resolution but for most majority of sweeps you'll be doing you'll be uh, using the kilohertz sweep so I won't go through the Hertz sweep because it's identical to the kilohertz sweep except you're adjusting the frequency at the Hertz level so instead, uh, I'll go through the kilohertz sweep. Let's go through the kilohertz sweep option. So we would select kilohertz sweep with a rotary encoder, push the execute button, and we're now executing that function. A couple of notes here is that you'll notice in, in the yellow, there's a bunch of parameters which we can change. Uh, the first time you run a sweep, it defaults to a set of parameters and these are the default parameters if you ever reset your files it'll it'll reset this as well you'll go back to this reset once you've defined a sweep you've changed these values and you've defined a sweep the next time you do a sweep it's going to remember those values and uh, uh, bring those values up as as the initial starting point so what this allows me to do is I can switch, I could set the starting frequency of my sweep, the stop frequency of my sweep, I can set two markers for my sweep, and as well as I can set my sweep type. So currently right now, there are a number of sweep types um, you can set. So to select each of the parameters, you would push the select button says down here at the bottom rotary push to do increment so you change the frequency increment select to switch between the various uh, options and execute to go so if I push my select button I can go over to sweep type and right now it's set to filter there's a SWR sweep type there's a return loss sweep type an impedance sweep type crystal which is going to calculate the crystal motional parameters for crystal and as well a 3 dB sweep type and what that'll do that'll calculate the 3 dB points for a bandpass filter or for a crystal so for the time being for this example we're going to do a filter sweep right now I've got a 20 meter bandpass filter connected to the SNA so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a starting frequency of about 12 megahertz and I'm going to select an ending frequency of let's say 16 megahertz okay and I'm going to go over and I'm going to set a marker to say 12.6 and the other marker I'm going to set to say 13.6 or 14.6 or 14.4 in that case before we execute the sweep I just wanted to take a minute and just talk about this parameter here uh, which you cannot change it's called uh, RES or resolution so what the resolution is that's telling us how much each time it's uh, it changes the frequency to complete the sweep it's going to change the frequency by that amount there. Now this this parameter or the value here is in Hertz. 
uh, whereas these two values are in kilohertz. So this might be a little bit confusing and we may change this in a future release of the software, but for the time being that's giving you the uh, sweep resolution in hertz. So right now each time it uh, changes the frequency it's going to change it by approximately uh, 6.2 kilohertz. I'll discuss uh, how that resolution is calculated in a subsequent video. So for the time being we're going to go and execute that sweep and it's executing and it comes up and it displays the sweep and there's our markers uh, the one marker I, I think we set for 12.6 and then at 14.6 those are our markers and it's showing us the DB reading at those markers. We can also use the rotary encoder here. See it says R push to, to jump. Execute select to exit. So we can uh, see that white cursor. We can move to a specific point and it's telling us here DB current. It's telling us what the current reading of that cursor is at that point on the screen. If we push it we can jump so we go up to the top of the filter and we can see you know that's the top of the filter there it's about uh, we're getting insertion loss about 5 dB at the top of the filter so if we were to push uh, select or exit uh, select or execute to exit we now have another option which says you can push the rotary encoder or push select to exit or press execute to save. So what this allows you to do is if you press execute it's going to save that sweep in the memory. So I'm going to save that sweep and you see it's saying it's, it's saving the sweep into the memory. So which means we can go into files and we can recall that sweep. So if we go into files, we select files and uh, we could use a rotary encoder to select which file but since there's only one file we can only select that file and it says uh, press uh, execute to display there it displays the sweep and it displays the, the same markers the same values and again we I can cursor through the display so I'm going to exit out of this so at this point let's go back and let's redo that same sweep and let's do a 3 dB sweep. So remember I said that uh, it remembers uh, every subsequent sweep uh, you do it's going to remember what the last sweep values was and it's going to keep those values. So in this case let's cursor over to the sweep type and let's select uh, 3 dB. So there it's, uh, it's saying a 3 dB sweep and let's let's go ahead and execute that. So this takes a while to execute because it uh, to do the 3 dB sweep it expects a really nice smooth curve. So for each value it takes it's taking a large average to take out any kind of variation in, in the signal. So there's a signal and there's our two 3 dB points and it's telling us the frequency of the 3 dB points there. And again we can save this so we'll go ahead and save it. So it's now saved and if we go over to files we should have two sweeps saved. So now we could use the rotary encoder to switch between them and uh, you'll see it's got a little indicator here at the had to move the camera to actually see it so the indicator is saying uh, it's saying F for filter and then it's saying 3 or B for bandwidth for 3 dB bandwidth so there's an F and there's a B so the B is indicating that that's a 3 dB sweep F is indicating that's a filter sweep so let's go ahead and execute or select that and execute it and you'll see it brings it up and it's displaying the, the 3 dB points there.